Hi, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Welcome to African Daisy Tarot. All my information is in the description box below. This is for um, your weekly love reading. My readings are timeless, so whenever you see it is when you're meant to find it, and it'll be for you for your next seven days. Okay, so let's get right to it. Let's see your current energy. It's got the Ten of Cups reversed, Eight of Pentacles, and the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles reversed. So with Ten of Cups reverse, yeah, this is Ten of Cups reverse, Eight of Pentacles, and Knight of Pentacles reverse. There's this bringing in, <clears throat> okay, this is, there's some heavy vibes around this ending here, this breakup, separation, okay, with the Ten of Cups. It's just, it feels like this, something feels over, okay, or, yeah, something feels like this, it's over. It's a sense of moving away from what you once kind of thought would be long term um but even with that i feel like there's some sort of curiosity lingering here some of you could can't help but kind of like check in on maybe someone that you had a breakup from you know um, whether it's a marriage somebody that you're in a marriage with or some kind of long-term con connection you could be spying on them or, or maybe this person could be for others of you this person could be married and you're spying on them um, you know, you might be watching them from a distance and just kind of feel, feeling a bit more tuned in to what they're doing. Okay. With the eight of pentacles here, there's a strong focus on self-improvement. So whether it's you or them, there's been some work going on in the background, you know, someone's been really putting in effort, you know, becoming a better version of themselves, um, and possibly through self-reflection, you know, growth, uh, maybe diving into a spiritual path. It's that, I'm doing the work energy, right? Because the Eight of Pentacles is about doing the work. And this kind of signals a desire for real change. This is somebody who wants change in their life. And then you've got the Knight of Pentacles reverse. And this is about, this is about, this kind of feels more of like a, a level. This is like a fling or kind of like a hookup because I always see the, the Knight of Pentacles as the, the, the Knight of Wands, you know, in, the Knight of Wands reversed. Um, I don't know why I, I have the two in my mind like that, but that's just how I see it. And, and, and you know, the, the Knight of Pentacles in the upright is somebody who is, you know, who will do things, uh, you know, will wait for you. They will be method they're very methodical they're very practical. They, they'll take their time to, to making things right. And, and they are looking at long term. But it feels like this is more like a casual thing. It's more like a hookup or like a fling thing. So the intimacy, this intimacy, but it's got some strings. It's there's, There is intimacy, but it's without the strings attached, okay? But because the pentacle is there, there's also a sense of um, stability. And like, this is something that you could see long term, but it's just not that way because either they have someone else or maybe it's just not working out like that. It's just It just so happened to be a one night thing or a fling. Okay. Um, if for others of you, it could just mean that somebody's also maybe working on themselves. You know, they're not ready to settle down just yet. Maybe somebody's exploring connections in just a, like a lighter way. You know, figuring things out, that kind of thing. Yeah. So, what to look out for? Five of Pentacles. King of Wands reversed and the Chariot. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles. You know, this uh, this this is about insecurities, about doubts. It's about maybe not feeling good enough. Um, you know, there's this vibe of being um, available, but it's kind of paired with a bit of self doubt. So it's like someone's. You could be single and open, or this person is. I don't know, but they kind of there's someone holding back because they're unsure they truly deserve the connection that they want. Okay. Um, with the King of Wands reversed, there could also be some jealousy here, some possessiveness, because the King of Wands in the reverse is about an ego. It's about jealousy. Um, somebody who could be very controlling as well. So this brings up a sense of maybe you might be seeing the, the, the other person with someone else and just not liking it, right? Um, there's a sense of competition, maybe risk, or it just feels like a, a gamble or someone's kind of stepping out or taking a chance, just not entirely sure about where they stand with this. The whole thing's just messy. It sounds very, I don't know if it's making any sense, because but it, when I'm saying it out, it sounds so messy. So I don't know. I'm just, hopefully it's going to make sense to someone out there. 
Um, and, and then with the chariot card, this is about movement. There's, it's about, um, you know, somebody could be, uh, it's about a drive. It's about pull. It's about transportation connection. I'm seeing this as somebody, maybe they're on their way to you. Maybe they're thinking about reaching out. Um, there's also a bit of a pause here, sort of like a timing factor that's making them kind of hesitate. It's this back and forth kind of energy of wanting to go for it, but not quite ready to dive in fully just yet. So yeah, I don't know. Air science, I don't know. Okay, so what is the advice? We've got the Eight of Cups reversed, the Ace of Swords, and the Eight of Wands reversed. So the Eight of Cups reversed um, is about... It could be... Maybe you were ghosted, maybe... <clears throat> Um, feelings of rejection, you know, it's the energy of somebody pulling away, but maybe not completely letting go. Because they, they, you know, the, <clears throat> sorry, the Eight of Cups, he's wearing a red cloak and that symbolizes passion and he's going away, even though there's a lot of passion, you know, for whatever it is that he's leaving behind. So, you know, this is about maybe holding on to what's familiar here. Maybe you're staying in this comfort zone instead of moving forward. You know, because that's the eight of that's the eight of cups as well. It's, you know, you're supposed to be going somewhere, but you're kind of holding on, and you're kind of clinging to you know to what's familiar. You know, because it's comfortable. Maybe someone is anyway. So yeah, this is the advice here is just maybe look at where you might be holding on to something that's not serving you. Okay. Um, yeah, with the Ace of Swords here, clarity is the key. There's a need for open, honest communication, a confession, maybe a chance to kind of clear the air. This card is about the truth. It's about cutting through all the noise and just getting down to the heart of things, right? It might be time to kind of just reveal what's really going on or maybe speak about those unspoken thoughts, you know. Um, that's the, the Ace of Swords. Um, and then you've got the Eight of Wands reversed. So that's about delays. So whether that's travel plans, messages, face-to-face -face conversations, things might not be happening right now or things might not be possible right now. So there's, this, it's a, it's, there's something about timing that's holding things back. So yeah, maybe it's best to just focus on what you can do right now and just be patient with what's, what you can't do, you know, things that are out of your control, okay? Um, yeah, so... That's all I have for you. Oh, and and yeah, the 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 eight of wands is also a Mercury card. So I think there was a Mercury retrograde coming up or something like that. So it maybe has something to do with that, but delays and stuff. So I don't know. I'm just saying. That's all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in.